Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And uh, in my last video, I went ahead and used a uh, self tanner, a new one on the market, and it really worked. So um, the Bondi Sand Sapphire uh, Cool Tone, and this is part of their Technicolor range. And um, with these ones, they really, really work. So um, I'm actually more than a couple of shades darker than I usually am. So I decided let's do a bronze goddess thing. So uh, that's what we're doing today. And um, we're going to do a couple of looks as far as the bronzier side of life. And it really goes with the whole beach thing that I have going on. And yes, I did add more beachy uh, stuff up here. Um, actually, let me go ahead and move that so you can see that. Um, but yeah, the whole, uh, that's not going to fit there either. So anyway, <laughs> um, it's been a long time since I had a bron bronzy beachy look and I don't use self tanner a lot, but, um, if you want something that really works and really will change, uh, your tone, uh, these, they have a lot of pigment in them. So yeah, uh, Bondi Sand Sapphire. Um, again, this one's a cool tone. It's specially formulated for people with fair skin. So it doesn't uh, make you too orangey. And uh, these are available over at Ulta. So they're really good. And then as far as what I have on my face today, um, I did go ahead and start off with the color Papa Pretty Fresh. Uh, this one I think is in 53 Warm. And so I had gotten it to be a mixed color because I knew that I wasn't going to get to the shade on my own, but I figured that I could go ahead and mix it with my lighter shades. But since I did the uh, self tanner, yeah, right now I can wear it on its own. So uh, let's do some bronze goddess and we'll see where we end up. And um, I have the pretty fresh here. Uh, this is what I use for my concealer. As far as what I did for the actual bronzer today, I went ahead and used the Soul Bronzer. Soul is a sister company to ColourPop. It's on the same website, so you can get everything there. And this is their bronzer in medium. And so that's what I have on as far as my bronzer goes. And then as far as what I have on for blush, I went ahead and used the e.l.f. This is the Halo Glow, and this is the one that's in um, <clears throat> Magic Hour. So, uh, yeah, that's what I have on as far as the blush today. As far as the highlight, where did I put that one? Right here. Okay, so this is the Heroin Glow 2 by Juvia's Place. And so that's what I have on as my highlight today. And it's really pretty one. And uh, let's see where else. Oh, as far as what I went ahead and did this first eye look with, I have the Lucky Penny by ColourPop. Mine actually is missing a pan. Um, and I really never played with it that much. But um, so this is what I have here. Um, it's a very uh, coppery look and started off with this in the inner corner. Um, let's see. I went ahead and used this as my base color. And then I used uh, this one on the brow bone and this one on the lid. So as far as the way that the look turned out, that's the way that that part turned out. As far as lips, I went ahead and used the Maybelline uh, Matte Ink, and this one is in 130. So that's what I have on there. And I think it turned out to be a pretty bronzy look. Oh, one other thing. I did use the Glowish Powder. This one is the one in Fair Light, and it's one that I was using, yeah, last summer. So I dug it out and sewed that. That's what I'm using there. And I think I'll be back in a second with another look. And uh, yeah, bronzy goddess. 
Be right back. Okay, Adrian, back again, and um, I just thought I'd reiterate how much pigment this actually has in it. I mean, I have studio lights on right now, which is washing me out, and um, but this, and then my, you know, Red around here has had sun, so it went golden um, on my legs, which haven't seen the sun for what four months at this point. Uh, the uh, it, it goes really deep, so um, and it goes into more of a red kind of deep. So if uh, just to let you know, it does have a lot of pigment, and I just wanted to emphasize that. And then I wanted to emphasize again that. Uh, these are such fun signs, and they're over at Dollar Tree. So, um, yeah, that's where I've been getting my my fun little signs that say all sorts of fun stuff on them. And I added a couple more in here. Um, but as far as going ahead and getting back to the look, uh, I started this one off with the NYX uh, Born to Glow. And this is the one in... What is this one? I'll leave it in the uh, down below, um, but this one is actually a bronze color, and I found that it had so much pigment in it that I really didn't need to go ahead and do anything as far as a uh, um, foundation over it. So uh, this is the only thing that I have on. I didn't put any anything else on besides this, and it does give you a really deep bronzy glow, and. Um, yeah, I'll have the name of it listed, but anyway, uh, let's see, going on to the next uh, part, as far as the bronzer that I used on this look, I went ahead and used the Face Off, and this is by Hard Candy, this is in Sweet Tea, so this is a bronzer that I have on with this one. And then as far as the blush, I used ColourPop uh, Bardo. And this is the way that this one looks. It has a lot of, um, it's a really deep, really pretty bronzy. In fact, I might put a little bit more on here. So it has a lot of red in it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So um, yeah, that's the way that that one looks. And I think it gives a really pretty makes you look like you've been out in the sun. It doesn't really, it doesn't sit on top like sun blushes do. It really gives you that ready kind of, you've been out in the sun kind of look. So this one I would recommend to just about everybody. I can wear it when I don't have a fake tan on and I just have to be careful and use it a lot less of it than I'm using right now. So it's a really pretty color. As far as the lips go, I have the um, Ultra Glossy Lip by ColourPop on, and this one is this. And again, it'll be um, without my glasses, yeah, I'm not seeing that. So again, they'll be listed down in the uh, description box there. And then I did go ahead and get the Wild Child palette out, which I haven't used nearly enough. And as far as what I have here, um, it's really pretty, very dark uh, palette. And so I started with uh, this one as my base. And then I went ahead and used this one on the inner corner. And no, I used this one on the lid, and this one is gorgeous. And then I used uh, this one on the brow. So, to start over again, uh, this one I used all over and as an eyeliner. This one I used on the brow. This one I used on the lid. And so uh, as far as the way that the look turned out, yeah, that um, this shade right here is just a standout shade. Um, uh, whenever I'm doing something br bronzy and I don't know what to do, uh, this shade right here is something that always clicks and I go yeah I can go there and um, as far as highlighter I really haven't done any highlighter on this one um, so 
let's see and uh, with this look and the look before it I did go ahead and use the next thicket stick it and this is in the cool ash brown and the mile high um, by Maybelline as far as the mascara this one's in the cosmic black and um, I think that yeah that's the way this this look turned out and I'll be back with one more okay so I'm back with the third look and I'm thinking that this is more of a bronzy glam goddess kind of look and um, before we get into it I just want to reiterate again that this gives you a lot of color a lot of pigment and um, yeah if you want to take a vacation and it really isn't in the cards right now go ahead and use the neck and definitely do it for you so um, at least make you feel like you're there so uh, as far as getting started with this one I went ahead and used let's see the true match this is the reformulated one by L'Oreal in the C 2.5 so it's a really cool color there and let's see I went ahead and added uh, let's see bronzer and this is the Wet n Wild uh, Palm Beach Ready. So this is what the bronzer looks like. And it does have a little bit of shimmer in it. And then as far as the actual blush that I used, I used one of the Bare, Min Bare Minerals bronzers. And so they have a uh, highlighter blush and bronzer in them. This is Kiss of Copper. And so that's what I went ahead and used for the cheek there. And then as far as the actual eye look itself, I went ahead and used Not a Box of Chocolates by ColourPop. And uh, yeah, this is an amazing palette. And um, if you're a neutral lover um, or bronze lover, you'll love this. If you want to go ahead and play with some bronze colors, this is also a really good palette. All three of the palettes I've used are pretty amazing and uh, what I did was I started with this one as my base and then I went ahead and used this one on the outer corner and I used uh, this one which is more of um, it's more of a glitter and so I used that on the middle of the lid yeah and then I went ahead and used this one on the inner corner of the lid and I used this one right here as my eyeliner underneath this is how the eye look turned out so it turned out really dramatic and really glam and really glittery and so yeah I think it turned out pretty fun and as far as the lip stuff that I did I went ahead and used uh, the Just a Tint by ColourPop. This one is in Just Because. And I did put a little bit of the uh, So Glassy and Epiphany over the top of it. So again, that's how it turned out there. And uh, I think that's probably my last look. Um, again, it's just a whole a whole different look, a whole different thought. And um, I'm glad I got here. Um, I was needing to do something different on my channel and this just gave me the perfect opportunity um, and I do have to say I didn't think that you know this would go as dark as it did but I'm glad that it did because it gave me a chance to play with a whole bunch of makeup that I wouldn't necessarily play with I got to you know think back to the time that I spent um, I spent time growing up in Hawaii and so it got me back into that whole kind of vibe and mindset and um, so it's been an amazing unexpected journey and uh, thank you and I hope that you have a great day. Bye.